So, 67 kilos for Shamil and for Mohamed Potassa. Mohamed Potassa, though, is tipped for the top. Team Ben Nasser. Only too sharp, let's see. 33 minute rounds of infusion action. forward all the time. Some record though that isn't it? 72 fights, this is 73rd. He's taking his time, having a look. Faking with the knees, beautiful that was. Just lifted his right knee up through the left knee. Through the middle. And a long up, push kick is left kick sharp. Good left hand through the middle, right, nice knees. Sharp kid. I was nervous when he made his debut on Infusion and um, a word with him and chat with him and settle him down and uh, he put on a great performance as he is doing now. Shamil's going to struggle here, isn't he, already? You can see long limbs. He's got an answer for everything. He's just faking, making you twitch, making you go out of position, making you second-guess everything there. And that's a sign of a skillful operator. Good knee. And a right kick to the body. Orthodox now. Good kicker, this kid. Chanel just signs of desperation that you know you can tell when someone throws a spinning kick from nowhere. He's gone through the arsenal, gone through his repertoire and his mind of what he can throw physically, try something spectacular to try and get himself in. Because he's on the end of kicks, knees. Good shot, that was clever, that as well. Well thrown, that was. Slipped there momentarily, it was a smart shot. Good knee. Look how he just edges out and catches shots on his gloves. Smart kid, this. High kicks as well. Good addition to the uh, infusion roster, this boy. Nice push kick, nice wide. Look how sharp he is, focus. Shamil, though, rock hard, but he can't find a way in, can he? He's an enigma to him. Bit of a Rubik's Cube, this boy. Knows his way around the ring as well. Good performance, this. You, you know what? It's not going to be one of these blood... It's not going to be one of these blood and snot... Um, explosive sort of demonstration but look how he puts things together and it's a good um, it's a good yardstick for everyone to have a look at in fusion 87 is brought to you from Street Direct the Netherlands on the 5th of October with a car full of talents it's a show not to be missed Jens Ugona from Belgium will face knockout artist Mohamed Gaeta Badi from Iran a Dutch clash between Fred Seeking and Thomas Bridgewater. Young talent Nordin van Roosmalen from the Netherlands faces the tough Anwar LeMay from Morocco. Rogelio van den Ent from the Netherlands will bring his exciting style to challenge Bilal Lukili from Morocco. Moroccan Khalid El Mugadam will battle against Dutch Daryl Verdonk. And Sam Zavet from Senegal challenges Levy Dichters from Holland. Don't miss this action on Saturday, the 5th of October. And understand the subtleness and the nuances of what he does. So he throws the left hand, catches round the body and just throws the knee. Push kicks to the face here from distance and then pushes again. Smart kid, you know. Kicks inside the leg and outside the leg. Just can't.
can't see how he caught that and then threw a right hand down the middle. Very good talent, this, you know. It's very good. One second out for round two. Round two, then. Let's see what goes on. Samil will try his best. Now he's trying to make it ugly. Eyes forward all the time, just coming forward, using the push kick. Just waiting now, isn't he, late for the counter, starting with the front leg and just as soon as he steps in distance, Shamil just... Mohamed will throw something to kick him up at distance, not get involved. It's almost like the tie, really. He kicks all the time, just kicking, kicking, jumping knee. Face. So we'll just getting frustrated. He must be, mustn't he? You know, being on the end of that kick and body punch. Left knee was nice. Kicks are really sharp. Suits the name, doesn't he? Too sharp. Sharp kick from the right leg. Shamil just hasn't got an idea of what to do, really. And it's difficult with a kid with a record like this anyway. I mean, top-level fighters are not going to be able to do it. So, Shamil and the level that he's at, he's really going to struggle. Push kick from Lutasa. Long right hand, right hook as well, and some knees. Got real dexterity, hasn't he? Lifts his knee up, drops the hands, can twist the knee in from awkward positions. Flexible, strong, quick, tough. Left up, right hand landing clean. His steps off to his own left. Hard to do that. Totally at ease in the ring as well. Nice. Good twist, very nice knee to the liver. Just keeping him where he wants him all the time. And Shamil, it's difficult to get Shamil out of there, you know, he's rock hard. But he's showcasing a lot of skill, this young boy. Only 19 years of age. Yeah, I mean, round. what can you say about you know, Shamil? Has a very, very high level of resolve. Sure, slowly but surely, Batassa is just chipping away at that solid granite chin. Als ik tegen iemand zeg die langer dan mij is, bereken ik altijd gewoon hoeveel stap ik achteruit moet als hij neervalt. Ik ben Mohamed Boutaza. Ik ben 20 jaar en ik kom uit Amsterdam. Ik vecht tegen Ilias Zoukhari, een jongen die, die veel bokst en best wel wild vecht. He's looking for the stoppage early on. Can Kevin Knappen come through this? He was hard with the body, dropped to the canvas. En ik ga altijd voor de KO. Ik denk dat uh, elke vechter voor de KO gaat. Ik denk niet dat er een vechter bestaat die denkt, ja, ik ga vandaag op punten winnen. En als hij valt, dan valt hij en anders gewoon drie rondes uitvechten. Ik uh, ga zeker ook uh, altijd voor de kou, maar uh, ja, ik kan ook op punten eindigen. Ja. Veel mensen die even vervolgen willen deze partij zien. Dus uh, dat gaan we nu uh, 2 november uh, waarmaken. Ik vecht niet alleen voor het publiek, ik vecht ook gewoon voor mezelf. En Mohamed staat gewoon in de weg voor mijn, voor mijn, uh, voor mijn doel. En wat is je doel? Om de belt te halen natuurlijk. Zoals jouw doel ook is, toch? Zeker, juist. Yes.
We zijn op elkaars pad gekomen. Ja, precies dat. En het is gewoon een halte die ik uh, weer zal passeren. Juist. Misschien wel je eindhalte of je weet maar nooit. <laughs> Misschien is het niet zeker dan. Ja, precies. <laughs> Ik deel geen tikken uit. Alles wat ik, uh, als ik je raak, is het gewoon keihard. En uh, moet je zien hoe je daar uh, bovenop komt. Het lukt niet altijd. Bijna nooit. Dus uh, ik wens hem succes. Als hij alle uh, van een tik uh, verward raakt, dan weet ik niet uh, wat bij mij gaat eindigen. Beste broeders, zusters, jongens, meisjes, tante, ooms. Iedereen, koop je kaartjes, want het wordt zeker een spektakel. Mijn wedstrijd wordt een groot spektakel. Dat kan ik jullie garanderen. Mijn boodschap naar Mohamed is dat hij zijn handen hoog moet houden. En dat iedereen moet komen kijken op 2 november in Lotto Arena. It's starting to dissolve the resolve, you would say. Come into his own, we'll see. Here's some of the action, I mean. Push kick to the face, you know, and it's a momentary lapse of concentration. Long right hand to the body, steps in, lovely left knee. He knows where he is all the time and keeping himself in position. Look how he just slips and pulls out the way of the counter shot. This is a very good, talented boy. And the record is understandable with the way he's performing tonight. We go to round number three then of a very one-sided exhibition of skill. But a tough man in Shamil who won't get taken out of there easily. Nice left kick. So he leans out the way, just sharp, superb conditioning as well. You can see on Utasa. Where he's coming from now, does he? Something wrong with Shamil's right leg. Don't know what's going on with his leg. Referee needs to look at that. Something going on. We can't can't stand on it then. Look how spiteful he is. He spotted that as well. Throwing in knees, punches. Another referee hasn't seen that. How can he not see that leg? Needs to go underneath it. Something going wrong with that leg. This is absolutely beating him up now, isn't he? And to take Shimil out of there will be there's something definitely wrong with his leg. Look how he's hopping on his leg. You referee, would you stop? You'd stop the fight, wouldn't you? We're at the end of this fight. Well, the referees. It's a TKO. The uh, towel came in, I didn't see that off camera. Well, to stop him is a very, very good performance indeed. And, um, you know, that doesn't happen very often. And it just did that. Hopping around on his leg, he's done something to his leg, poor Shamil. I hope he's all right, because he is a very, very tough kid. But it goes beyond the call of duty, doesn't he? Let's be fair. That's how it works. So, a great performance there by the young Butassa, who was too sharp. And I don't know what happened with Shamil's leg. Oh, yeah, there it is. Great, great look at that by our cameraman, eh? By our uh, OB van. He spotted that straight away. I think he broke his foot kicking uh, Mohammed's knee. Yeah. Well spotted, uh, the, the OB van there, the outside broadcast. Well done, fellas. Well, first of all, your applause is for uh, Shamil Uvaisov and Mohamed Mutaza. <laughs> Fighters to the center of the ring, please. Great performance that way by Potasa, wasn't it? Commiserations to um, Shamil, who was injured by kicking but the winner out. of this fight oh, making him hop the winner of this fight is the man in the red corner Mohamed Butasa yeah good performance that was for Butasa and an injury to Shamil